There she is, guys. The most powerful production V-twin made in America. Wisconsin, to be exact. It's got some hydraulic valve lash adjusters and hydraulic camshaft chain tensioners uh, to make it a little easier to maintain and increasing reliability. Liquid cooled, yeah. All new six speed transmission where sixth gear is really overdrive. All new cast aluminum frame. Yes, on a cruiser. And stopping is easier with four piston radio mount Brembo's. Oh yeah, loving that. Attached to 43 millimeter inverted cartridge forks. Bosch six axis IMU. Lane traction control, lane ABS, oh yeah. Stoppies, wheelies, no. <laughs> Full LED lights all the way around and Indian's first chass mounted fairing. Keyless, just leave it in your pocket. Seven inch touch display with 100 watt stereo system so you can do this. Hi guys, nothing to prove here. Today's a beautiful day because any day one can be out on two wheels is a beautiful day. And yeah, today I'm riding the Challenger. Loving it so far. Got quite a few kilometers on it this morning. Stopped for lunch here. Thought I would shoot it. Yeah, let's shoot it. Looks good. Loving this bike so far. All new motor oh yeah the power plus they named it after the 1916 to 1924 indian that's what that power plus motor uh this except this is 108 cubic inches so it's pretty big uh and also the most powerful production now we're not talking about the crated harley motor the what is it the 131 132 cubic inch New one that uh, you can get from Harley for six grand, and um, then you still got to mount it and put in everything. I, I digress. So, can't count that crate motor. So, production. Indian is firing a salvo across the bow of the Road Glide. Yeah, Harley, look out. They're gunning for you. And first impressions, two thumbs way up. I was having a blast on this bike. I didn't think I could have so much fun on a cruiser that's this big say how big is it yeah 381 kilos for this limited edition you guys can tell i'm a little geeked i like it and i hide my emotions on my shoulders <laughs> let's get into the most important thing here this powerful motor yeah 122 horse right at 5500 and this thing will redline it'll still go to 6500 which is rare for a big V-twin like this, but it's liquid cooled so it can do it. And the torque, 178 Newton meters of torque for this bad boy. Ugh, yeah, right at 3,800. And the nice thing about this liquid cooled motor is it keeps pulling past five grand. 
whereas most of your other air-cooled V-twins will start to die off into the four grand, and then by five grand, there's not much power. This keeps pulling all the way to six grand. I was trying it, and it was a blast, believe me. Now, made it to this six-speed transmission with real overdrive. How is that on the street? Oh, feel that power. Wow. <laughs> oh, this torque, 178 newton meters, right at 3,800. Yeah. <laughs> this is amazingly powerful. This is hilarious here. Now, let's watch. Okay, let's drop her at one. laughing at how much power this thing has. Uh, two thumbs away way up for this power drain. And, and when you shift, you can it clunks. You know you've shifted. This is your traditional Indian cruiser. Now now this clutch, well, man, he was way over. This, it, it, it's not a hydraulic clutch, guys. You can say, what? No, it's not. It's, it's the slip assist, yes, but... Uh, it's not bad actually for a, a non-hydraulic clutch. I'm really, I'm really, okay, I got, that's annoying there. Oh, now it's on green, or now it's cut. <laughs> uh, that was annoyingly loud, wasn't it guys? You could hear it cutting in and off, in and out, watch. There. <laughs> now it's on all the time there, now it's on green. See the green? <laughs> So now it shouldn't be too loud. <laughs> shouldn't be too loud. <laughs> yeah, that's relative, huh? Uh, this, I, I am liking this, this transmission. It's easy. You can ride this bike fast. I'm surprised. Most heavyweight cruisers to ride fast it's 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 a lot of work this isn't all right guys coming up here to the suspension your 43 millimeter 130 millimeters of travel here of inverted forks mounted to yeah 4.32 brembos on 320 mil fixed disc not floaters but look through here. This is pretty cool. If you look right through there, you can see right through air coming right in through there. You can adjust those vents. Adjustable windscreen will do that on the ride too. And yeah, you can't see anything else because you got the bags back here uh, on a 298 mil two piston disc. Now, how does this all new frame and suspension feel on the street? The suspension is really soaking up these bumps. I am really surprised. I'm, I, I normally pick these rough roads to feel it and it's beating me up, but not on this bike. For a cruiser, I'm totally shocked for these this rough road. And this is a rough road, guys, but I'm not feeling it at all. So good job on the Fox adjustable suspension there, Indian in the brakes oh, oh, oh. oh not not bad at all yeah i have the uh oh there's some guys <laughs> they're waving they want to be on the video <laughs> the front brake is good the rear brake whoa that's cutting in really quick the ABS, it's, yeah, I heard the squeaking, but it was cutting in very, very quickly. Maybe a little less intrusive on the ABS Indian, but hey, it's 381 kilos, so it's a big bike. All right, guys, let's check out the rest of this bike. Let's come around here to the back. Look at this bag here. You just push this in and pull it open like this. Look at that. Lots of space. You have 70 liters or 18 gallons of space. Uh, for this bike and look at this classic look back here and yeah I want to talk about the pipes 
say, wait a minute, these are not stock pipes. No, they're not. Let's turn it on here. This is keyless. And one touch start. Look at that, nice. There an Indian comes up. But there's an extra button here on the handlebar here. Now let's come back here. Listen to this. This is nice and quiet. See the valve there is closed. I don't know if the GoPro will be able to see that. Now listen. I hit this button. <laughs> now listen to that rumble. See now the valve is open. Right there. <laughs> These are the cross pipes. I'll put the name up and they're off. On. <laughs> oh, I'm like a kid in a candy store. This is a blast. <laughs> Electronic controlled. So if you went leaving the neighborhood in the morning, shut it off. But then in, in the afternoon, turn it on. <laughs> okay, enough fun for for the moment. <laughs> Now, coming up here to this seat, it's only 672 millimeters with a 22.7 liter tank. Fully weighted down is 381 kilos. Now, how does that 381 kilos feel in the city, let's say? Now, let's take a look. How, let's, let's see how many uh, manhole covers we hit. <laughs> That's how I know here that uh, vroom, vroom, vroom. oh this is not bad you can dance with this this is a nice nice square dancing partner swing your partner round and round dipsy dough all the way around I don't know how that goes guys I don't square dance <laughs> yeah this uh, as far as the in-town handling this is this is nice I do like this uh, it's Throttle mapping is okay. Not okay. It's good. Ah, yeah. That's the real test of throttle mapping. <laughs> it's not automatic. That's hilarious. I don't see the intel. There is a little, little uh, lag there. Let's put it in first. Oh, that's so loud there. There, how's that? Second gear at 30. Oh, that feels good. I'm, I'm really surprised at how nimble 381 kilos are. In this, riding through this little village. I shouldn't say town, this is a village. And, and the rear cylinder shuts off. I, I did not mention that before. Uh, when you come to a stop, it'll shut off. But you can turn that on and off, uh, and so that only the front piston's running. All right, guys, let's continue on up here to the handlebars. I already showed you this button. Now you have your standard, you know, your lights, horn, standard controls, music. Uh, I'll get into that in a second. Your standard controls over here. This is your windscreen there. You can see it go up and up and up. And you can see it has a little opening there. And then here is the reverse of the vent there and the air coming through there. And let me put the uh, windscreen back down. Now this does handle Android. I know Indians, they, they do in the Apple CarPlay, whatever. Yeah, it connects with that, but it also does Android, which I'm happy to see. You can change your, your many displays here, what you want to see, blah, blah, blah. This is what I really prefer. I was really using this more than anything else because uh, this has everything that I want or need. Uh, on the road glide, it's switched, meaning this is up there and further away, so you have to reach much, much further to touch it. Um, and you have to really reach. Here, it's closer, and I wasn't really using these two gauges very much. Well, maybe the RPM a little bit, uh, but I was really using this. You get your fuel gauge, your range, uh, what gear you're in, and kilometers there, and how fast you're going, and then also with the Navi there. Uh, then you can get into other things. Yeah, you can switch back and forth like this too, using this. Then they also have a little trigger here that you can do it without having to take your hands off the handlebars. You can flip through 
so you don't have to pull one hand off and go onto here. You can just do it from the handlebar too. Uh, overall, I am liking this display. Nice job, Indian, uh, with the connectivity and the windscreen and keeping the classic dials there too with the speed and RPM. Um, it's very difficult today to mix those two or totally integrate and just go to a big TFT. Thank you for keeping the separate dials, Indian. Good job there. Overall, would I recommend this? Yeah, if you guys are looking for a cruiser uh, that has torque everywhere, and you can rev this all the way out to the red line, and you've got massive amounts of torque all the way to the red line. Um, I haven't ridden the Road Glide yet. Maybe I should, just to compare. Uh, but overall, two thumbs up for a big cruiser like this, guys. I, I didn't know I would have so much fun on this big of a cruiser. Uh, this is more exciting than the Road King. It's a little bit heavier and a little less power, um, but this is fun. Two thumbs way, way up. All right, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this review. Number one, guys, ride safe. That's the most important thing on the list. Ride safe, guys. And number two, ride like there's nothing to prove. Take care, guys. Cheers. Now I need to ride off into the sunset. Ha, 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 ha.